So here's my thought. <clears throat> Up at the top, I put one of the screws on the wrong side uh, of the ridge. The little ridge. Uh, I put it on the wrong side. Uh, so I have to leave a screw in it um, just for the waterproof, waterproofing. Uh, my thought is the roof is 26, seven inches. So that's nine panels at, that's not gonna work. That's nine panels, that's 27 feet. That's five inches. Guys, I can't do it. This is thinking I could overlap an extra ridge here, and that makes me lose a foot. And three times eight, three times nine minus a foot, uh, so I'd still be lost by seven inches. I have an extra eight foot panel, uh, which is supposed to be for down there. I'm trying to think if I wanted to cover it on the back end differently, like cut it lengthways at 16. I think that'd be dumb. I guess I just gotta leave a screw in it. Maybe I'll put a screw on that ridge all the way down, at least so it looks uniform. I don't have one, la one random screw. I guess that's what I'll have to do. Just annoying. I wish my scaffolding had wheels and then could move it. Because it's really annoying not being able to. It is what it is. It has a bit of a bow. I will, I will say that. Eleven eighths over eight is one with three left over. Three, one and eight. No, yeah, one eight plus a little. That's, yeah, it's three sixteenths, not three eighths. Three sixteenths. And I can shift that by both edges. So that's six three three thirty second. Nice. Uh, I just got half of it right there. I think I gotta measure it out with some marks here.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I went to Tractor Supply. Uh, found another magnetic one, which we'll see how it does. And then I found two more of these sleeves for other bits, technically is what they are. I um, don't know if this, I think one, I think this one's supposed to be magnetic as well. Um, so I'll probably try the magnetic one. No, I'm not gonna try the magnetic one. I'm gonna go with this one, see how long it lasts. Uh, they're all off brand. Oh, they didn't have any, they didn't have any uh, name brand ones actually, which was disappointing. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna check my lines, check my measurements. Hopefully I don't have to adjust too much. Uh, the screws on these uh, metal roofs actually have a little bit of a gasket there that uh, gets squished and sealed. Here's one. Uh, here's a screw uh, that hasn't been screwed in, uh, but you can see that there's like a washer. Let's see if my camera will focus. Um, there's a washer and then a gasket. Uh, that helps seal the water uh, from coming in the screw hole. Um, the trick with these is not to over tighten uh, and not to and to make sure you tighten them enough. Um, so that's that's the trick with these guys. It's really easy to over tighten them. It's a little harder to not tighten them enough. Once you put them in and the gasket starts to squish out uh, a little bit, uh, you can know that, that it's sealed up pretty well. Um, and the other thing that you gotta make sure you do with these is as best you can put them perpendicular to the tin uh, because otherwise, if you're not quite right, and not quite perpendicular when you come down in, uh, the gasket uh, will be squished on one side and not quite sealed on the other. So that's the other thing you gotta figure out when you're uh, putting on tin roofs. Thanks guys.
as you can see, there's a lot of ups and downs and checking the bottoms and checking the tops and checking the sides. Which reminds me I need to do that again before I get too much farther because I need to push this over or back. You'll notice that I'm not putting quite all the screws in. Uh, I've tried different <laughs> systems, different things along the way. Right now I'm just getting the majority in. The last, the last screw all the way over is hard to get <coughs> leaning. And so I'm going to wait till I got most all the other screws in where I can kind of feel more comfortable actually walking on it without being nervous about it going too far. I don't think it really will if I ha only have a couple screws at the top, but I'd rather it not. I'd rather it not shift if I'm walking on it or, or whatever. So yeah. Well, that really kind of ties together quite a few days of, of work for me uh, getting this roof on and together thankfully my little slide ladder elevator thing uh, has been uh, worked out pretty well um, especially as as for just one guy um, kind of having to go down every time I need a sheet's kind of been annoying but uh, that is what it is uh, but uh, so it's worked out uh, fairly well uh, almost done I've got some other details I gotta I gotta finish up on the roof uh, my grandpa might uh, come out and help me with uh, a hand I've got uh, a vent I need to cut around a gasket I need to put on for that the ridge uh, cap has to go on so there's still some work yet to do um, before all that's really buttoned in um, so hopefully that'll get done. I'll be able to get that done in the next couple of days, uh, and we can we can call it done. Um, and then we can uh, we can move on to the downstairs floor and uh, everything that entails. So thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a lot of fun working up on the house. Uh, been a lot of fun reading your comments and uh, what you guys are thinking, uh, having to do with the roof or or just the house in general. Uh, so keep them coming. Uh, if you've been liking uh, what I've been doing, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want. Uh, hit the notification bell uh, so that uh, you get a notification when I throw a video up. I try to throw it up uh, Friday afternoons around four o'clock. Uh, really, i uh, just been super thankful for everybody uh, for all your support. Uh, so uh, again, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I do have a couple other videos videos out. If you're new, uh, go ahead and uh, go to my channel and, and find those, watch through those, catch yourself up a little bit. Uh, but uh, now I'm kind of changing gears to the floor. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get that done before uh, winter full on sets in. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one.